Hi you guys and welcome back to the channel and for another video from here in Bali, Indonesia. After spending over a month here, I've gone to do and see some of the most amazing sights that I've always dreamt of seeing. But in this video, I wanted to focus on where to stay and show you some exotic yet affordable villas here in Bali. Now for the first spot, I'm going to show you our place in Shenggu, which is where I've spent most of my time and also has some of the greatest villas in all of Bali. Also for this video, I'm going to be accompanied by my friend Katia from Russia, who you hey. might have seen in previous videos. What do you think of the place so far? Oh, it's so good. We have like private pool and breakfast. Maybe we ask for a breakfast to show them what right. they give. We're paying for it, so we might as well try out the free breakfast. Now, the bed is very simplistic and it does have this bed thing that they have just about on every bed here in Bali and we kind of just like throw it in the back because it messes and tangles with you while you're sleeping. But we have this wide open window so when we wake up, we have the sun waking us up. Also, there are a bunch of roosters and dogs around that have been waking us up as well. And then this is my favorite part. I thought that this would be a problem when it was raining like last night, but we have an outdoor shower on these rocks and it's just so freeing when you're you're showering outside. Even last night, I was showering and there was just a giant lizard on this wall that jumped onto the other wall. So while you're out here, it's kind of like you're in an adventure park watching all of the nature of Bali. You have your outdoor toilet over here and then the sink and mirror. I also wanted to say the sun here in Bali is so strong. I have my hair in this downward position style today because Got a little sunburnt, so pro tip for you guys, make sure to bring your aloe vera. Say what's up to the vlog. So this entire place only costs us about 35 to $40 on Airbnb. It comes with a free breakfast. We also have our own private pool and this nice backyard. And my favorite thing about it is the location. It's in Chenggu, which can get kind of rowdy, but we're a little bit further up the main road. So we have this nice quiet area besides the roosters in the morning. And there's a bunch of rice fields surrounding us and just feels like we're in our own little abyss. And there's also plenty of other things to do here in Chenggu. Katia, this is like three times the size of your head. Yeah, my head. <laughs> so if you guys saw my first Bali video, you know that I've loved coming here to this place called Crate. And for about 13 US dollars, we got two huge meals. Katia's is like massive. And also two coffees. So the prices are so cheap and also the food is absolutely delicious. Katia, when she told me how she was coming here, she was just like, the first thing we need to do Let's go to Crate. So we're at Crate. I'm at Crate. <laughs> mm. The same owner of Crate owns a few other stores right over here down the street, which is the Crate Concept Store, which is more of a girl's store for shopping, and then also Pretty Poison, which sells more clothes for males. And is also where you guys have seen me skate that pool in the backyard of a bar. Now the best part of staying in Shenggu is that it is right on the beach and they are also developing it so much. Like Kati, you said you were here a year ago and none of this was here. Yeah, everything is like growing so fast. Like this restaurant, they don't have this. Uh, everything is changed. Like it's grow so fast. Yeah, so just within one year to have all of these coffee shops and restaurants and even a bar upstairs, it's exciting to see where it's gonna be next year. Also, like I said earlier in this video, the sun is so strong here in Indonesia and that's how I resulted in getting some sunburn. So don't mind if Kathy and I 
It looks like we're some lifeguards. Slide <laughs> now. Chengdu is also home to a big art scene, tons of restaurants, and plenty of surf shops. It is also a great place to do some shopping. So we're here at one of the local markets and we just met Choi. Hi, I'm Choi. And this is actually his clothing run. This is his clothing line right here. As you can see, he's even got his name on it. But I'm gonna be picking up this shirt right here. Help support my man Choi. Yeah, he got one already here. Yeah, that's mm. me right there. It's, it's, it's really cool for him, of course. <laughs> How's the bed? It was like, I don't know, loud. <laughs> <laughs> so we just made it here to our second Airbnb that I wanted to show you guys here in Ubud, which is in the center of Bali, more in the jungle. And we just checked in and I would have to say that this may be my favorite Airbnb I've ever stayed in. We have our outdoor living room right here where we can also make some coffee. There's a couch, also a nice table to work or eat. Then we have a nice bathroom, and it comes with a dancing Katya. <laughs> now it's not an outdoor shower like the last place, but it does have natural sunlight coming in from the ceiling, and also really like this exposed stone right here. And then this here is the master bedroom, and this is where all the magic happens. Levioso Katioso. See, see what I mean? I feel all the sunshine. I'm not gonna let you go. The other great thing about staying right here is that you are literally steps away from exploring all the rice fields. So right now, Katy and I are uh, trying to make our way over there to talk with some of the workers who own the rice fields. Katy, I don't know if this white dress was uh, a good choice, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> you first and you need to get give me a hand because I can... Alright, on the test dummy. Oh, not so bad. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, you, you, it's yeah. pretty narrow. So like when you land here, don't take another step. Um, I, it will be, I don't know where to turn, right. I can. Just stick I'm your front foot dance. forward. Oh, okay, 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 Ooh. it's not bad, it's not bad, next. Do you think it's like, I feel kind of bad that we're just like walking on these people's property, but. No, they like, they like face. They're waving? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Do you need any help? Oh. Yeah? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing, but it's fun. Doing. Next time you guys eat rice at Chipotle or wherever you eat your rice, just remember how it's made. You make it by shaking it. I now have a much higher appreciation for how rice is made and I did learn a little bit from being out here in Bali and how that this it means that it is almost done and almost ready to be eaten. It's ready, not almost. It's ready? Yeah, I, I know it's bad. Yeah, she's a professional rice worker. But I think it takes around two to two and a half months for it to fully grow from when it's completely mud down there until when it is beautifully blossomed and looks delicious. Katya, are you going to eat it? Ubud and the rice fields are a must-see if you are coming here to Bali. But besides the rice fields, Ubud is also home to monkey forests, elephant camps, and some of Bali's best markets. Look, 
That's gonna be it for this video, but if you wanna see more Bali and travel videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.